Action. <laughs> hey, hey, it is week 17 of our marathon training for the Walt Disney World Marathon coming up in 2023. Here's the deal. Today it is so it's windy. Very windy. We're doing our intro here. So apologies if the uh, audio during the mm -hmm. run is bad. We're going to do our best because, man, it is windy. But stick around. Uh, come along with us. And then we'll have a quick, uh, pretty quick recap. Yeah. Happy week 17, everybody. You know it. This is a tough hill. Okay. 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 Not bad. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a big lip at the end. Not a Halloween decoration. There's nothing like going up a tough hill and at the very top is a cemetery. Thanks for the motivation. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm doing this, here, and then back, and then like here, and then back. That should be it. We're uh, over, a little over a mile in our into our five mile run today. Uh, the weather's nice, it's just extremely windy. But uh, yeah, man, it's been kind of uphill. It's hilly. So, uh, <laughs> downhill next. So we're at about two and a half miles Ooh, in. Halfway. Yeah, halfway. So, Ooh. oh, we'll, there it is. Hey, hey, halfway. So we'll go out a little bit. We'll come back. Five miles. Hey. So far, pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We're gonna take a switch back so we can go down, which means uh, we're gonna have to come, come back, back up. up. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, this is it. We have uh, one and a quarter miles to go. Our so last turnaround and back. Yep. Uh, just have to switch back. Just that switch back. Oh man, that's gonna be pain. I'm probably that's gonna a it. We'll just uh, need to head back to the car and then recap. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, week 17. Um, you know, first of all, thank you to our new subscribers. We are so happy you're uh, joining us. Week 17. Holy mackerel. We are yeah. getting close. Getting yeah. closer. We ran five miles today. It went all right. Uh, really, really windy. Uh, still feeling a little pressure uh, around my chest. Uh, I'm going to blame COVID. But uh, other than that, it was pretty good. It was considerably better than last week's run, oh, yeah, which was a doozy. Yeah. Was, um, yeah, but it felt bad. Like miles, miles, but yeah, early on, it felt yeah. very bad. And this wasn't as bad. No, not at all. So, you know, positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, a couple of things. So next week... Uh, when we upload our video, you'll see that we uh, we're participating in our local uh, boo run. It's our uh, uh, Halloween themed uh, local uh, 10k, 5k. 5k. We will be running a 10k. All right. It's a six mile day for us. The race is only three, so we need That's to figure right. out if we're running three miles before it or three miles after it. Last year we had some place to be. Oh yeah. Midday. That's right. And so we had to do our three miles before the race. Or it may have just been two miles. We should do it before. We ha it was a couple miles. Huh? We should do it before. Mm. We'll see. You know what? And we're thinking of uh, breaking out our joy and anger outfits. The more I thought about it, I was like, nah, because we have three miles of running that aren't in the race. Like, it makes sense for the race, but for the rest of the time. Yeah. Our joy and anger outfits from Marathon, uh, Disney World Marathon 2020. Yeah. We were joy and anger. Yeah. I don't know that we, not a whole lot of people recognize this, which no. I thought was weird, because it's clearly a joy dress, and next to joy, like, this dude in a tie, yeah. like, and red sleeves, like, it's clearly anger, yeah. but... Yeah, we'll see. Well, stick around. You'll um, find out in a week. Um, hey, so a couple of things. One thing we did, uh, because... Uh, we, you know, with, with... We're old and we hurt? Is that where you're going with this? Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. I don't want to be the one to say it. Yeah. I mean, so, that's what's going on. So we, we, got a, we got a massage gun. Uh, and it's our first one. And man, it's pretty cool. It comes with all these attachments. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Um, and we've been using it. And holy mackerel. Uh, so uh, it, it, it's supposed to be a deep tissue massage. But it has all these varying levels. Anyway, I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description if you've been considering one. Uh, it is really I awesome. I like it. So I hate foam rolling. It kills me. It's a slow, painful death. Mm -hmm. But this is like doing the same thing. I feel like I'm getting the same benefits from it without yeah. having to like cry while I'm, you know, <laughs> yeah. rolling my yeah. um, IT band. Yeah. Um, and I I don't know. I'm trying to think what else it could possibly be. Nothing, because I've had a really rough couple weeks at work. Yeah. 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 And I, it, like, my body's all, like, tensed up all the time because yeah. of it. Yeah. But since using this, and only using it really on my legs, because mm -hmm. everything's connected. You know, you take care of something here, it'll fix something else yeah. somewhere else. My, like, lower back and hip pain has kind of eased up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So. That's good. It's really it's neat nice. because the, the attachments are for, like, targeted so it even has an attachment uh, for like your Achilles, which I have yeah, issues with. Good. So, you know, it's really nice. And, you know, we started out with like the the lowest setting. I've only gone as high as two. I think there's like five. Oh, yeah. Speeds, maybe six. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, rechargeable. We charge it up once fully and we have it now for like four days. It's really keeping it charged. It's really, really nice. Anyway, we just thought we'd mention it because if you're running and you're sore and it's you've nice. been trying things, this thing's really nice. And, and, and like on my feet, like my feet have been oh, hurting yeah. lately. Just like pound my yeah. arch. It feels it, really, it's really pretty nice. neat. So uh, that's been helping out. We wanted to share that with you. And then the other thing, this is, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. So we've been running lately uh, with our house keys. So we have our car key, which is just a little fob, yeah. and it's so big, we don't put it on a keychain. Yeah. It's just the way we roll. Yeah. So um, we have it, but we also run with our house keys just in case our garage door doesn't want to open, yeah. right? So the last few weeks, even like on, on my running pants, I have, you know, a little tiny zipper pocket. Mm -hmm. It's that big. I'm sure at one point in history it fit a cell phone, but now it does not. It is very, very small. 
Um, and you would think with such a small amount of space and a zipper and like, I even have like a skirt on top of it. So you'd think with all of that, my keys wouldn't jingle. And as I'm running for like miles and miles and miles, I'm thinking, what can I do to make these keys not jingle? What can I do? Pro tip. Rubber band. <laughs> Just a rubber band. Yeah. Focus. Focus on this. <laughs> well, you're going to have to take my word for it. Here's our keys, our house keys, little keychain, yeah. and a like big fat produce rubber band that we <laughs> threw on it. Yeah. Um, and I'm so glad we did. It didn't make a sound yeah. today. You know, sometimes hearing something jingle for things. hours. <laughs> yeah, so pro, pro tip. Uh, you know what? And, and I, I know, I know as runners, we all come up with things. So share some with us that, that you do with, you know, whatever. Because it's kind of neat. You know, you come up with something that's like, oh, man, I wish I thought of that. So Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure somebody has thought of this before. But it just occurred to me, and it's a game changer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, look. No sound. It's awesome. And I caught all of those. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's celebrate. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is week 17 for us. Boom. Oh in the book. So we just have, what, one more week of October. Mm -hmm. We're doing the brew run. Then we have a long run, Ooh, the first boy. week of November. That's a big one. And then we have November, and then we have December, and then basically it's marathon weekend. So this is moving so fast. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. It's fast. I don't feel ready yet, but that's okay because we still have... Who can help me with that math? Not me. 11 weeks left? Yeah. 11 weeks no. left. So... Uh, and we did mention before, I'm going to mention it again, we have a vacation coming up where we're actually going to run. It's going to be fantastic. We'll let you know where that is soon enough because it's still uh, two and a half weeks out. It is longer than that, but you're very close. Three weeks out. It's 24 days. It's three eight-day weeks. Are you, <laughs> I didn't tell yeah. you that. That's what my brain did to me this morning. Like, oh man, it's 24 days. Or right, it's only three. Eight day weeks. I'm like, what are you doing, brain? Why are you making a week eight days long just so you can like round off your vacation? You know, path? that is the title of a really good song. So, right? I love Name that song. <laughs> yes, eight Today's days. Eight, eight days, days a week. Days a week. <laughs> So maybe that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> like brushing that, my teeth. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, is that what? <laughs> you know what? Always, the inner workings. Always an adventure with you. <laughs> Let us know how you're doing. We love your comments. And uh, man, seriously, always an adventure with you. We will see you in a week.